how are they going to sanction this? What are the, what are the rules? What are the, you know, the, the, the limitations, oh. all that stuff. That's, that's quite literally their job. Mike Tyson has finally announced the official rules for his upcoming fight with Jake Paul, and it appears that we are going to see a professional fight between the two opponents. But this is not it. Tyson has also sent a new warning to Paul. Tyson has already begun his training camp, and he has been updating his followers on Snapchat with regular updates on his progress. Yes. In one of Iron Mike's most recent posts on the app, he issued a fresh warning to Paul by captioning training footage with, You ain't ready for me. In a reply to Tyson's latest warning, Paul has also released his training footage and warned Tyson ahead of their bout. He gave a major update on his Instagram, depicting what he humorously dubbed as his inaugural day at the training camp. The 26-year-old captioned the video, Day 1 of sending Mike Tyson back to his podcast for good. The arrival of the troublemaker is quite the spectacle as he descends from a private jet adorned in festive attire. With determination in his stride, he proceeds towards an opulent destination ready to embark on his journey. Later on, he can be spotted tightly holding a plush champagne bottle amidst a bustling venue, where the audience joyously sings along to the iconic tune Freed from Desire. He then shared another post and wrote, He may be stronger, he may be more experienced, but he will not outwork me. That I guarantee you. Training with Olympians at 6,000 feet, Paul mentioned to his viewers that he was not really, and mentioned that he was training with Olympians at 6,000 feet. Here is the complete footage. Psych! You really thought I was partying? We out here, high altitude, Colorado Springs, with the Olympian Team USA Boxing. Let's get it! Let's go! In another video, Paul can be seen training with USA Boxing, showing his determination for the upcoming fight against Mike Tyson. Paul seems to be subtly hinting that he's not approaching the bout with a serious demeanor, a revelation that might not come as a surprise to fans, considering the significant 31-year age difference between him and his opponent. Here is the new training video. What's up, Mike? Right, nice How are you, Jake? Nice to meet you as well. How are you? In addition, Paul has also responded to the footage of the 57-year-old, affirming his readiness for the potential challenge that the former undisputed world champion might present. Paul just posted on Instagram and wrote, I'm gonna bite your ear off, Mikey. Moreover, he shared his latest training video and gave an update on his third day of training. Day three, Mikey, Mikey, your hands can't hit, but your eyes can't see. Woo. Many people thought that Tyson might be past his prime, but UFC President Dana White's concerns have been allayed after learning of Tyson's intense training regimen. White explained on Lex Fridman's podcast, At least I know, I talked to his wife a couple of days ago, and he's taking it seriously, and he's training for it. And you know, we'll see how it plays out. I love Mike Tyson, and I'm not a fan of anybody fighting at our age. But he's a grown man, obviously, and he's going to do what he's going to do. Doctors have raised concerns about Iron Mike's health, going as far as issuing warnings regarding potential brain damage. Despite Paul's outwardly calm demeanor regarding the highly profitable match, Rafael Cordero, Tyson's trainer, asserts that the heavyweight contender will be actively seeking a decisive knockout victory. He said on the MMA Hour, The guy didn't have 20 fights in two years. He knows how to fight. He's fought against the best guys in the world. When he steps inside the ring, he knows what to do. It's not something new for Mike, and this fight is no different. Robert Smith, the general secretary of the British Boxing Board of Control, echoes the sentiments expressed by other figures in the industry upon learning of this event, taking a similar stance. In a recent interview covered by Boxing Scene, Robert Smith delved into the intricacies surrounding the impending fight, highlighting its uncertain nature. He said, I can't believe it really, to be fair. Who's organizing it? Who's doing the medicals? 
It's a 50-year-old man against somebody 30 years younger than him. It's very difficult to understand, to be fair. It's ridiculous. As someone entrenched in the world of officiating, Smith brings a distinctive perspective to the table. Interestingly, his observations echo a prevailing concern. While all eyes are on Mike, Jake's well-being appears to be overlooked. This sentiment, articulated by Smith, underscores the nuanced dynamics at play in this upcoming match. Smith added, So how do you go? Whether it's sanctioned as a professional contest? Depends on the Texas Boxing Commission, doesn't it? They're saying they're going to do it. I really can't answer that. Rumors swirl that event organizers are in talks with the Texas Department of Licensing and Regulation for professional oversight, yet final confirmation remains pending. Should the green light shine on this proposal, it would signify Tyson's inaugural official match since the year 2005. Yet, if categorized as an exhibition, it would mirror Tyson's bout in 2020 with Roy Jones Jr., culminating in a draw and dispensing with the necessity for headgear. Renowned journalist Ariel Helwani told the MMA Hour. I want to see what the rules are. I want to see what the, is it pro or is it exhibit? I just want to see. I want to, I, 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 there's still some answers to be revealed to us. Ariel Helwani further mentioned that the rounds would be heavyweight rounds and emphasized that no headgear would be involved. He added, they're still working on a few important details. Is it a pro or exhibition? They want pro, but that's up to the Texas Commission. I'm told heavyweight rounds, they're working on that as well. I'm told there is absolutely no headgear involved. Helwani also added that the match was expected to resemble a typical boxing match. However, there was uncertainty about whether it would be an exhibition or a standard professional heavyweight fight without any restrictions. He added, This is going to look like a typical boxing match. But is it an exhibition, like Tyson's last fight against Roy Jones in 2020? Or is it just a normal pro heavyweight fight with no strings attached? Information regarding the altercation has been somewhat limited, however. Derek Chisora, a former contender in the heavyweight division, asserts to possess insider knowledge on the matter. He asserts that the slugfest will essentially resemble a sparring match, complete with head guards and 18-ounce gloves. Speaking to Radio Rahim, Chisora said, I know for a fact they are using 18-ounce gloves and head guards. If I'm not mistaken, I think so. So we're watching a sparring match. It's a fucking joke. You think I'm paying to watch that? No official announcement has been made regarding the regulations or weight division for the Paul Tyson match, nor has there been clarification on whether it will be classified as a professional bout or an exhibition match. However, Nakisa Bedarian, one of the minds behind most valuable promotions, Paul's renowned promotional enterprise holds firm in the conviction that the forthcoming event is poised to rewrite the annals of boxing history. He said, Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson is a once-in-a-lifetime dream matchup, and I anticipate it will be the most watched boxing event in modern boxing history. Nakasa Badarian likewise dismissed all speculation regarding the utilization of headgear in the upcoming match. He said unequivocally, there is no headgear for Paul versus Tyson. Haters spreading fake news, but it won't stop the tens of millions of views. Tyson's final bout in the ring ended with a loss to Kevin McBride, close to 20 years in the past. Now, he finds himself preparing to square off against an opponent nearly three decades younger than him. Nevertheless, Iron Mike has already cast his forecast for the unfolding of the match. Speaking after the announcement was made, he said, He's grown significantly as a boxer over the years, so it will be a lot of fun to see what the will and ambition of a kid can do with the experience and aptitude of the greatest of all time. Earlier this month, a video shared on TikTok by the creator known as More Pick'em Petey suggested that Paul would have to don headgear akin to that of an amateur boxer, whereas Mike Tyson would opt to go without any protective gear. But wait, there's more. Petey went on to assert another outlandish notion, that Jake could potentially tag in his elder sibling, Logan Paul, should he find himself fatigued, a suggestion promptly brushed off by Jake as utterly absurd. The Jake Paul Mike Tyson fight might not be happening anymore after the insane rules for this fight were leaked and Jake Paul received massive pushback from the internet. When people found out that Jake Paul was going to be able to fight at a heavier weight, untested for drugs, with headgear, and with the ability to tag his brother in at the same time, they hated it. Jake Paul responded to these discussions in a March 21st podcast episode, expressing his dismay that millions of people believed such rumors. He said, it's so sad that millions of people believe that. It's absurd. First of all, obviously, none of that's true. They're so stupid. Anyone who believes that should not be allowed to vote. Meanwhile, boxing icon Teddy Atlas has cast skepticism over the forthcoming showdown, suggesting that there might be some prearranged outcome between the two contenders. Atlas said, unless this is a WWE agreement, which I don't know that it is, 
I never said this before, because I think all these fights are legitimate, and they are and have been, but this one makes me wonder. Moreover, his apprehensions surfaced regarding Tyson, highlighting the substantial age disparity between the combatants. Tyson, aged 58, is slated to enter the boxing ring opposite Paul, who, at 28, significantly dwarfs him in youthfulness. Atlas said, I'm not questioning the integrity of Paul. In fact, I like his integrity. I like what I've seen in the guy. I'm just saying, if there was a time I would question it, this would be the time. I can't see, unless Paul is that confident, that Tyson is too old now, and he's that good. Because Paul has been getting more confident, and he does have a good right hand and does punch well with it, and Tyson leads with left hooks. Atlas commented that Paul might believe he has a chance to land a right hand, but he was uncertain. He noted that this was the first time he found himself pondering whether there was an agreement in place because, without one, Paul might be making a mistake. Atlas added, Maybe Paul thinks he can hit him with a right hand, I don't know. All I know is that this is the first time I've said, I wonder if there's an agreement, because if there's no agreement, Paul might be making a mistake. Regardless, the event is poised to captivate a global audience, with both fighters bringing their unique strengths and personalities into the ring. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos.